What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be starting our Azure series. Now, if you don't know, Azure is a cloud-based platform owned by Microsoft. Azure is one of the biggest cloud platform and has millions of users all around the world. I myself use it for many years and I absolutely love Azure. I think Azure is a fantastic cloud platform and that's why we're gonna be starting to learn it. I think knowing a cloud-based platform is an essential skill today for any data analyst, data scientist, data engineer out there. So that's what this entire series is gonna be for. We're gonna get our account set up. We'll look at things like account storage, SQL databases, uh, even some things like data pipelines. So using Azure Data Factory and Azure Synapse Analytics. These resources and tools within Azure ones you're absolutely going to see. And so these are the ones that we're gonna be focusing on. In this lesson, we're just gonna be getting everything set up. So we're gonna be creating a Microsoft account, we're gonna be creating an Azure account, and then we'll be doing a walkthrough of the UI just so you can kind of see it and get familiar with it. So with all that being said, let's jump on my screen and take a look. We're gonna start right here on the azure.microsoft.com slash free over here. Now this is gonna be a little bit different if you're in a different country, but this is for uh, me here in the US. But I'll have this link in the description so that you can come to it. You can create your account and then we'll get into all of the uh, UI and how everything looks once you actually set up our account. Now, before we actually create it, just go down here. Here's some of the things that you're gonna get when you create your account. You're gonna get uh, popular services free for 12 months, which is really, really great. Um, 55 services that you're always gonna be free. And then we're gonna get this credit right here. Now, this credit is really important because some of the things that we're gonna be looking at in this series are not things that are completely free all the time. So uh, we're gonna be using some of this credit throughout this series. So you wanna make sure you can get that. You just need to create a new account and that's what we're gonna be doing. And then we don't have to use our money, we can use Azure Azure's money and we will all thank them for that. Let's come over here. We're going to click on start free. So we're going to start our free trial. Now, if you already have an account, you can use it. If not, we're going to click on use another account. Now, again, for this, you can sign in with things like GitHub. You can sign in with a previous account. If you do not have an account, I'm just going to show you how to create one really quickly. And that's what we'll use going forward. If you already have an account, if you're already signed in, go ahead and skip a little bit forward, maybe like a minute or so, and we should be done creating this account. But let's go ahead and see how we can do one. We're going to go to create one. We're going to call this uh, Alex the analyst at outlook.com and there we go so we have outlook or we could do hotmail hotmail feels like it's from like the 90s so i'm going to do outlook at least feels uh, somewhat current and then we need to create our password i don't want any tips so i'm going to do a password right here and let's go ahead and click next you're going to fill in when you were born and we'll go ahead and click next and it should be creating our account looks like we need to do a little uh puzzle here looks like we need to rotate it where it's pointing and there we go. So now we're signed into our Microsoft account, but now we need to actually create an Azure account. And those are two separate things. So you need two accounts. So we're going to go through, we're going to fill in all this information, your name, your phone number, uh, your address, and all these different things. Then we're going to have to fill out uh, our card, so a debit card or credit card, so that we can actually, if we go over the $200 or if we use a service that is not free, then it is going to charge us. We won't be doing that, thank goodness, but you do need to have a card on file in case you do that. Let's go ahead and fill out all this information, then we'll go to the next part. All right, so we just created our profile. Now we need to identify our verification by card. One thing I will note in the profile, I did have to verify my phone number. So they sent me a text, I put in the number, and there you go. Next thing we need to do is we need to put in our debit card. So go ahead and do that. And once we fill that out, you're going to see this right here, which is a little uh, welcome to Microsoft. You can go ahead and look through this if you'd like. I'm just going to get out of it because we don't really need it. Now, this is going to be the first thing that you see. This is just the home page of Azure. This is where you can access different services and resources and look at your profile and notifications and all these different things. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is just take a look at some of these resources because there are a lot of resources within Azure. And so if we come down right here, let's go ahead and click into one of these. This is Azure Synapse Analytics. If we want to uh, actually use Azure Synapse Analytics, we need to create a Synapse workspace. And then we can start using this resource and start using this application. And all we would have to do is create this. So we'd come in here to create Synapse workspace. We would start filling out all of these things, and then we would actually have access to that resource. And so this one specifically is one that we will be looking at in this series. Uh, let's go down and just really quickly take a look at some of these. We're going to be looking at data factories, so creating workflows and data pipelines. We will be using Azure Synapse Analytics. 
And if we go down to databases, we'll take a look at SQL databases as well as maybe one or two others because knowing how to use databases uh, with the resources within Azure is actually quite important. And then if we go down to storage way down here, let's keep going. If we go into storage, we will be looking at storage accounts, and that's actually where you can access something like a data lake. And so this can be pretty intimidating just looking at this because there's so many different things. But in this series, we'll really focus in on the things that I think you need to know that you're definitely going to be using as a data professional or especially a data analyst. But, you know, even things like uh, let's come back up here. Even things like data factories are used by data engineers, database developers, data scientists, it's everybody. And so knowing how to use these tools uh, within Azure, extremely important. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on in the next several lessons. We'll be getting into specific resources within Azure and how to use them. So that is all we're gonna take a look at in this lesson because we're just getting set up, creating the accounts, looking at some of kind of the user interface of how Azure actually looks. And in the next several lessons, we'll be diving in, getting hands-on experience with a lot of these tools. Thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it if you have not checked it out already i have a full course on aws and azure on analystbuilder.com be sure to go check it out i'll leave a link in the description if you like this video be sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video